Hey guys, it's Ryan with AIinsiderTips.com, and in this video, I'm going to have ChatGPT and other AI tools help me make picks for the 2024 NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Now, this is one of my favorite times of the year, is March Madness, and why not use ChatGPT and other AI tools help me make picks that probably know more than I do um, or can just provide better analysis than me trying to make all of these picks myself. Um, so the very first thing I want to point out is that I actually uploaded a PDF. So I got this off CBS's website, um, and this actually ended up working better for me than uploading an image. I actually tried to upload an image the first few times while recording this video, and there were a lot of inaccuracies and errors. So now I uploaded a PDF of the 2024 bracket, and it is very accurate. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm gonna go through ChatGPT and have them make each pick for me. And while they're doing that, I'm gonna actually fill out a bracket. And later, once the NCAA tournament is over, I'm gonna come back and create a very short video showing you guys the results of what ChatGPT picked for each and every game in the tournament. Now, just before we dive in here, I am on GPT-4, so I'm using ChatGPT Plus in this example. I also got some insight here from Google Gemini. Unfortunately, with Claude 3, it doesn't allow you to do that. It says, I cannot provide predictions or help you fill out a bracket. Gambling on sports betting events raises ethical concerns that I don't feel comfortable engaging with. So Claude 3 is out of the question here. I also leveraged Grok a little bit. So I am a member of X Premium Plus. So I want to look at what Grok is telling me for these picks as well. But for the most part, I'm going to stick with ChatGPT and literally go game by game and fill out a bracket based on what ChatGPT is telling me. So here we go. I laid it out by a bullet point list here. So just I wanted to make sure that it got every game correct before I started asking for predictions. And it did. And so then I said, awesome. Now pick a winner for each game in the first round. So here are the winners uh, that ChatGPT picked in the first round. So we're going to go over to my bracket and reflect each one. They have UConn, Northwestern, San Diego State, Auburn over Yale, BYU, Illinois. Looks like they have Drake upsetting Washington State, Iowa State. And then the South, they have North Carolina, Michigan State, St. Mary's, Alabama, Clemson, Baylor over Colgate. They have Nevada over Dayton. And they have Arizona winning that 215 matchup. So on the Midwest side, they have Houston, Texas A&M. Wisconsin, Duke, Texas Tech, Kentucky. Looks like they have Florida here, and then they have Marquette. And then all the way to the west, we have Purdue, Utah State, Gonzaga, Kansas. Looks like they have Oregon upsetting South Carolina. I actually had that in my uh, official bracket that I did. And then they have Creighton, they have Texas, and then Tennessee over 15 St. Peter's. So now that I have my first round complete, I'm going to come back to chat GPT and ask it the following. I'm going to say, great, now pick winners for the next round. And then it may take a little bit for them to do this. So I'm actually going to skip ahead and then come back when this response is complete. All right, so here are the results for chat GPT's picks for the second round of the NCAA tournament. Right here, they have UConn over Northwestern. Here they have San Diego State beating Auburn in a little upset. They have Illinois over BYU, Iowa State over Drake. And then in the South region, they have North Carolina. They have Alabama beating St. Mary's, Baylor over Clemson, Arizona over Nevada. And then down to the Midwest, it looks like we have Houston. And then we have Duke over Wisconsin. We have Kentucky over Texas Tech and then Marquette over Florida. And then down to the final one here, we have Purdue over Utah State. We have Gonzaga. We have Creighton and then Tennessee. Now, one thing I want to note really quickly is I noticed that they did mess up the regions, which isn't a big deal. Um, but what I kind of like here is they offer a sentence of analysis for each game in the second round. So one I thought was really interesting for Purdue, they say Purdue's strong play and size advantage are decisive. And if you know anything about basketball, Purdue has that center. I believe Zach Eady is his name. Um, so they actually had some pretty good analysis here for Purdue. Um, Baylor's defense and tournament experience, that's pretty valid. Alabama's athleticism and high scoring, that's pretty valid. North Carolina's historical success and talent depth, that's valid as well. So not all of these are going to be 100% legitimate, but it is kind of cool how they have some sort of analysis for each pick. So now I'm going to say, great. Now help me pick winners for the next round. 
And again, I'm going to wait and it may take a little bit for them to generate responses. And I'm going to fast forward and then come back when ChatGPT is finished with these outputs. All right, so for the Sweet 16, it looks like we have UConn beating San Diego State. They have Illinois pulling off the small upset here against Iowa State. They have North Carolina over Alabama, Arizona over Baylor, Houston beating Duke, Kentucky with the small upset over Marquette. They have Purdue over Gonzaga, and then Tennessee over Creighton. And then again, it says Purdue's size and strength inside could challenge Gonzaga's defense, making them the pick to advance. So again, I like this little analysis here. So I'm looking at the Illinois over Iowa State. Illinois has shown they can compete at a high level. UConn's historical performance and overall strength made them a contender for moving forward. And UConn did win it all last year. Um, so it's just kind of cool to read what ChatGBT is kind of saying behind these picks. Um, so now as we advance onto the Elite Eight, I'm going to ask the exact same thing. I'm going to say, great. Now help me pick winners for the next round. And I'm going to fast forward and come back after this is complete. All right, so here's ChatGPT's picks for the Elite Eight. So here right here, they have UConn beating Illinois. They have North Carolina, uh, looks like beating Arizona. Houston over Kentucky. And then they have Purdue over Tennessee. So I'm not surprised by this. They have all four one seeds in the final four, which is a pretty popular pick. They call that a chalk bracket. Um, so right here, UConn, North Carolina, Houston, and Purdue. Um, and then I'm just going to simply prompt them, say pick winners for the next round. And this one shouldn't take long. So I'm just going to sit here on screen while they're doing this in real time. So right here they have UConn versus Illinois. Um, it looks like we already did this one, moving on to the Elite Eight. So here's an error right here I'm noticing. It looks like they just did this. So I'm going to say pick winners for the final four games. So right there, that was a small error that ChatGPT had. As I said, just pick winners for the next round. It didn't follow the directions. Um, but here we go. It says UConn versus North Carolina. They're picking UConn in this matchup. Houston versus Purdue. Looks like they're picking Houston in this matchup as well. Um, so now it looks like the national championship is UConn versus Houston. Um, so then I'm going to say who wins the national championship between UConn and Houston. And then we'll go ahead and give it a response there. It says, I'll make a prediction based on the strengths of each team. UConn has ability to perform in clutch situations. Houston has some trains with stifling defense. Um, that's pretty accurate as well. And it looks like UConn tends to have a slight edge in terms of versatility. Um, and so they're picking UConn to win here. And then I'm going to ask it, how many total points for the tiebreaker here do you think will be scored in this game i mean i'm going to ask for the how many points here and it says given defense of yukon and houston we can expect the game might lean towards defensive intensity yada 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 so it says but they 130 to 160 points it says 135 to 145 points so i'm going to go ahead and put 140 points in between there and i'm going to click submit bracket so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and really rename this my chat GPT bracket. If I can do that right here, I'm going to go ahead and say chat GPT bracket. And then I'm going to come back to this guys when the tournament is over. And I want to do a short video letting you know how chat GPT performed compared to my other brackets. So that's it guys. Just wanted to do a fun little video here. Having chat GPT help me pick winners for the 2024 NCAA March Madness Tournament. Now be sure to leave me a comment below on who you have winning it all, who you have winning games. Um, do you guys use AI to help you pick each game for the 2024 NCAA Tournament? Really curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Um, be sure to also subscribe to my channel guys at AI Insider Tips for not only more fun videos like this, um, but also other legitimate AI tutorials, AI news, trying to keep you guys informed on the latest and greatest in the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And guys, I hope you all have a great day and be sure to enjoy the games with March Madness this season.